The New York Times reports that just after 1.30 p.m. on March 15th, Brenton Tarrant emailed a 74-page manifesto filled with anti-immigrant and anti-Muslim ideas to 30 people, including New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. Minutes later, according to the BBC, Tarrant began live-streaming from a head-mounted camera. Footage shows him driving to the Al Noor Mosque in Christchurch and selecting a weapon from the boot of the car. At around 1.40 p.m., he walked into the mosque through the front entrance and opened fire at people inside who were there for Friday prayers. Based on the footage, the BBC reports that Tarrant opened fire inside the women's prayer hall and then the men's before changing weapons in his car. He then re-entered the mosque and shot at bodies in the men's hall before leaving. From Al Noor Mosque, Tarrant drove five kilometers to another mosque in Linwood. Linwood's acting imam, Latef Alibi, told Stuff that he was leading prayers for a congregation of over 80 when he heard a voice outside at around 1.55 p.m. He looked out the window to find a man holding a large gun and bodies on the ground. He told everyone to get down. According to the New York Times, Tarrant was firing through a window when Abdul Aziz, a member of the congregation, ran out and threw a credit card machine at him. Aziz followed the attacker and picked up a discarded gun. He later threw the gun at Tarrant's windshield, prompting him to drive away. Stuff reports that police officers managed to force Tarrant's car from the road soon after. Video taken by a resident shows officers dragging the suspect out of the vehicle and taking him into custody. According to the BBC, a total of 42 casualties were reported in the Al Noor Mosque, while eight were killed at the Linwood Mosque shooting. According to the New Zealand police, Tarrant is facing 50 murder and 39 attempted murder charges and is currently being held in a maximum security prison in Auckland. CNN reports that in the aftermath of the attack, the New Zealand government has introduced a gun control bill that would ban military-style semi-automatic guns, assault rifles, and related components. Existing gun owners have until September to hand in their weapons and be compensated in a buyback scheme. The incident has highlighted the responsibility of social media platforms to stamp out online hate speech. Facebook announced in late March that it will ban all praise, support, and representation of white nationalism from its platform.